OK, I want to describe to you a, a really wonderful way of actually computing probabilities in certain cases. And that involves a little warm up that I want to share with you first. So first, nothing to do with probability. And then the really cool thing is we'll see it's connected to probability in a really neat way. So here's an algebra question. Let's take x plus y all raised to the fifth power. And I want to write that out as a polynomial without the fifth power there in, in outside. So I want to sort of do lots of foiling and take x plus y times x plus y plus x times y five times. All right, how would I do that? Well, we could do it. You could actually do it. But there's a really wonderful theorem called the binomial theorem that tells us exactly what the answer is going to be. And the answer turns out, in general, if I have x plus y to the n power, to be, well, uh, x to the n times y to the 0 plus x to the n minus 1, y to the first, and so on down the line until we get to x to the 0, y to the n. And then there are these coefficients in front. And those numbers are actually the, what are called the binomial coefficients, which is really just what we saw with combinatorics when we were doing the combinations. So this is n choose 0 things. This is n choose 1 thing, n choose 2 things. That's where we're choosing two things from n where the order doesn't matter. And that, in fact, gives us the coefficients. So that's the binomial theorem. It looks a little bit complicated and abstract, and I guess maybe it is. But in practice, it's actually not a big deal at all. Let's, let's actually now expand this. How do you actually find those binomial coefficients? How do you actually do that? There's this great thing which we can use called Pascal's triangle. So let me show you Pascal's triangle really fast, because I think you're going to like this. Pascal's triangle is a simple triangle of numbers where we start with 1. And then we're going to build this isosceles triangle by putting a 1 here and a 1 here. Always start with 1 and end with 1. And then in between, we add the numbers that are right above us. So for example, here I put a 1. But I have a 1 and a 1 here, so I add those two and put a 2. And then I always end with a 1. And now I repeat. I put a 1 here. I see a 1 and 2. That makes 3. I see a 2 and a 1. That makes 3. And then I always end with a 1. See the pattern? If I do it again, I see a 1. 1 and 3 is 4, 3 and 3 is 6, 3 and 4 is 4, and then I always end with a 1. And then finally, if I do one more, I'll see 1. Then I see 1 and 4 make 5, 4 and 6 make 10, 6 and 4 make 10, 4 and 1 make 5, and then finally I end with a 1. And this keeps going. You can see the triangle keeps growing. This is the... Um, Pascal triangle. And in fact, they actually give me the coefficients for the binomial theorem for free. You just go down the right level. So for example, we start here. This is going to be, I consider this uh, level 1. I consider this level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. We're looking for a fifth degree. These are all the coefficients that we put in front of the term. So this equals this equals, here we go, 1 x to the fifth plus 5 x to the fourth, and now I've got one factor of y, plus 10 x cubed, and now I've got two factors of y, plus another 10, and now I have x squared times three factors of y plus 5 x y to the fourth plus, and then finally, y to the fifth. And there you have it. The expansion of this is given just by this. Couldn't be any easier. Let's try another example together. And you can see the binomial theorem working for us. Quantity a plus 5b cubed. Well, here, we don't have to go too far down the chart. So we have 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be these are going to be the coefficients, 1, 3, 3, 1. But it's going to be a little bit tricky. So let's write it out carefully. This is going to equal. And what do we see? Well, I see a cubed and then plus, I've got a 5, a squared times this term which is 5b, because that is the term here. That's the y now. Plus, OK, now what are we going to have next? Well, now the coefficient here. Oh, wait, why, I'm sorry. Why do you only put 5 here when you know 1, 2, 3? It was supposed to be a 3. 
See that three there? You knew that. Easy to make a mistake, but you just gotta be careful to find them. So if we now take the next coefficient, the next coefficient is gonna be three as well, and what are we gonna have? We're gonna have now a just to the first power, and then we're gonna have 5b quantity squared, because that's the value of y. So we're gonna have three a to the first power, 5b quantity squared, plus the final coefficient is a one, times just 5b all cubed. Now we gotta clean that up a little bit. So this equals a cubed plus three times five is 15, a squared b plus, and here I have a 25, once I square the five, times three is 75, a b squared plus, and then five cubed is 125 b cubed. And so we just expanded this thing using the binomial a theorem and using Pascal's triangle to correctly identify the coefficients. Remember, we start here with one, this is squared, this is cubed, and so forth, right down the line, any power you need.